YouTube has just released YouTube Create, which is their own mobile editing app to edit your own videos without having to pay for some editing application. Like you could just make a YouTube short or a video all through this YouTube Create app. So I downloaded it and apparently it was only on Android for the longest time, but now very recently it just got released on iPhone. So it's now available pretty much to everybody. So I don't know, it's pretty cool that YouTube has their own their own app. I think it's to compete with CapCut mostly because that's what everyone uses to edit on mobile, especially creators that are only like mobile creators that only use like TikTok and, and YouTube shorts and stuff. So let's just see how this works. You can, you can create a project Oh, I don't even have any videos to, to edit. I just have pictures that I forgot to post to Instagram. Um, I don't know. You know what? I, I have honestly no idea. Let's just select literally every, everything. These are from various trips. These are things that I meant to post, but I just didn't get around to doing it. And now it's been way too long to post it. So here we go. We just import a bunch of images. We can add an overlay. So, oh yeah, you can put things on top of things it looks like. Wow, that's actually pretty crazy. You can't do that in Windows Movie Maker. So yeah, you can have things on top of it. Uh, you could have filters and effects. You can add adjustments to different things. You can add animations and you can remove background. Oh wow, you can chroma key? What? That's actually cool. I've never used CapCut, but I know you can do crazy things with CapCut. I, I just edit all my stuff in, in Premiere, like my normal video, so I, I don't have a mobile editor, actually. But seeing this is like, damn, people have access to a lot more tools than we didn't have, like, years ago. So this is really nice. You can add stickers and sound, so there's a lot of free music on YouTube that you can add. Royalty, royalty free. Yeah, add that. <laughs> You can do voiceover, so, hey everyone, this is my pictures I forgot to post. Hey everyone, this is my pictures I forgot to post. Yeah, this is not a good video. <laughs> oh man. Uh, you can add some captions, aspect ratio, so I guess you could actually edit a full-on YouTube video. You can do vertical or an actual vertical video. Like, that's good. I'm glad that they allowed you to edit vertical because people still like to post vertical. So yeah, that's cool. Now you can also edit with AI or use templates and access your project. I'm just gonna delete that because no one wants to watch that. You can create templates. So you can use other people's templates. You can use travel, lifestyle. You know what would be a good feature? If you could use people like that clip your own videos, if you could edit those clips, that'd be nice. But let's try this AI edit thing. I guess it uses Gemini. Oh yeah, we just gotta select a bunch of random, random freaking pictures here again. Oh boy, alright, okay. Okay, <laughs> so the length we can select, yeah, music, captions, AI voiceover, sure. Here, let's do hype friend. What does that mean? What does a hype friend mean? I don't know, but... Alright, this is a very exciting. We're making an AI video out of pictures. Maybe we should have used some videos, but I don't have any videos on my phone, so... I don't know. So while it does that, we can go over some other features that it has. And who better to hear it from than YouTube itself. So this is their entire video on it. You can create and edit projects by doing all these random, cool, crazy things. So this is pretty much what, all the stuff we went over. Yeah, it goes over voiceover. So this is a good example of like adding text to the video. It's not bad. Like this is actually pretty, pretty cool. Oh, it's done. Where's my hype friend? This honestly sucks, but <laughs> yeah, YouTube's just doing what, what they can. So yeah, YouTube has a new app and now it's available for you to use on both Android from like a year ago and now Apple. And you can use AI to edit it, but it might turn out like crap like that. But I, I might post that anyway, because it's so funny how bad it is. Anyway, let me know if you use it. Bye.